don't know what the hell is up there, but you better have the Navy check it out. It's big. Roger, looking glass. It's entering the atmosphere now. We're getting one hell of a reading down here. This is Navy Tomcat 1. That's a negative on the bogey. Over. This is Tomcat 2. Concur. Nothing up here but sky. We're heading back to Mother Orbit. Stand by. We'll be switching over to emergency power grid. I just forgot to pay the light bill this time. All right, everybody, keep concentration. Get ready. Big guy's gonna jump here. You ready? Hey, come on. There you go. I wish you guys listened to me that well. Here we go. I'm just gonna try to solve this one more time. You are obsessed with this interview. No, the only thing I am obsessed with is you. Uh, hey guys, get a room, okay? People are trying to eat here. He's just jealous. <laughs> Told you he'd do it. <laughs> he proposed? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, uh, yeah, my name is Bo Stark. I sent a resume to the North Foundation a couple of weeks ago. Oh, you did? Sure, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm free. So, when's the big day? We don't know, we haven't set one. Bo's trying to get this job at uh, Lenone a couple weeks. Oh, does it get any better than this, huh? A beautiful city, a beautiful morning, and two beautiful ladies. Oh, you are so full of it. <laughs> Pit, subtlety. Well, that was charming, wasn't it? Why don't you try it? It works. Where's Bo? I gotta see if he can give me a ride to work. He, um, he's on the phone. He'll be right back. Oh, my God. You, you got a hangnail. Pit! Is that, is that a ring yes, on your it's finger? Yes, yeah, yeah. it's a ring on her finger. Wait, you see the bells I'm gonna put on her toes. <laughs> I got the interview. <laughs> you did? With the Nurse Foundation? Mm-hmm. Well, could I at least come on the honeymoon? No. no. I can't believe it. we're gonna be late. Well, don't forget we have dinner with Aunt Senia. Tonight? Yes. I'm not sure I can make it. They've asked a few of us at the physics department to look into the power outages from last night. Well, will you at least try? You I know will, how I Aunt will. Senia yeah, I know how she gets, but I'll, I'll give you a call, okay? Bye. Bye. What are you doing? Come on, Mom. <laughs> Dad, tell her she drives too slow. You drive too slow. I drive the speed limit. Mom, speed limits are just guidelines. Yes. So now, if you get this new job, you're gonna be leaving Phoenix? Yeah, I, I guess. I, mean, I don't really have any family or anything to keep me, so... Mm -hmm. Except you. Well, what about the youth center? Uh, it'd be kind of hard to replace. Look, what do you want from me, man? I cannot stay there forever. They're gonna find somebody hey, else hey, to hey, do hey, it. Hey, I'm just joking, I'm just joking, all right? You know what? I forgot my glasses. I'll be right back. 
He's not just joking. Bo, you should not feel guilty. This is a million dollar foundation. It's a great opportunity. I don't feel guilty. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Why is it you can read me so easy? Lots of practice. Yeah, I guess. You know, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even have the confidence to go after this job in the first place. Of course you would. Just think about all the great things you're gonna do. Not about what you're gonna leave behind. Bo, listen. This isn't an opportunity that comes along every day, and you know how long you've been waiting for this. I, I just think that you should... What happened? Mm. I don't know, something stuck me. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Hey, I got him. You ready? Yeah, let's get going, guys. I'm gonna be late for work. Yeah, let's go. Bo, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, Dr. Moran, mm -hmm. I was wondering if you had a chance to write that rec letter for my residency. It's due pretty soon, so I just thought I'd check it. Perhaps you haven't noticed that I'm in the middle of running an ER unit right now, and you being late for your shift isn't exactly earning you high marks as far as recommendations go. You did promise the letter last week. You're right, I'll do it tonight. I must think it'd become a real pain. More than usual? I'll tell you, it's the divorce. Once it's over, you'll be fine. It is over. As of yesterday, I'm officially a free woman. Is it too soon to tell you about this great guy I want you to meet? <laughs> That's the scariest thing I've heard all day. You guys were discussing Faulkner, right? <laughs> I know it's cool to torture the substitute, but I can make this fun or painful. Mr. Partridge. Don't mind me, Miss Winslow. Please continue. Right. Um, William Faulkner. Can anyone tell me something about Faulkner? Anything at all about Faulkner? Yeah, he was an American writer. That's right. John, what else? Well, yeah, he was known for his uh, vivid characterizations in novels and short stories. Right. Vivid characters within a complex story structure. Now, let's take a look at A Rose for Emily. John. Sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to thank you for today. You saved my skin. Sure, it was nothing. <clears throat> this is my mom. Miss Winslow's our sub. Hi. Brave soul. Nancy Ochoa. Nice to meet you. You work at Ashland Finch? Yes, do you know it? Yeah, my father used to work in pharmaceuticals. He passed away a couple years ago. That's my ride. It was a pleasure to meet you, and thanks again. I owe you one. Bro, you look terrible. What happened? I don't know. It just came on me a couple of hours ago. You're freezing. Move over. I'm going to take you home.
Oh my God, Bo. Oh. Bo. Oh. Honey, what's wrong? Oh. oh God. I'm scared. Shh. Shh. It's gonna be. Oh. Oh. It's gonna be okay. Shh. Hey, Cassie. I just talked to the doctor. He said the initial test results don't reveal anything contagious, and his vitals don't show him to be in any kind of danger. So, basically, he's just got some really nasty flu symptoms. Does he have to spend the night here tonight? Oh, no. Doctor said go ahead and take him home. Plenty of fluids, plenty of rest. And if you want, I can give you a call in the morning with the final test results, but... Okay. Thank you. All right. something behind. No, sweetheart, I've got it all. Yeah? Yeah. Come on. What's wrong? Nothing. Bo, where are you going? Cass. What are you doing, Bo? Come on. I want you to see something. Are you sure that you're feeling better? I'm much better. Hurry, quick. It's happening now. Now? Yes, right now. Come on. Right over there. It's beautiful. There's more. 
Was it in the paper or something? How'd you know that? I just knew. In other news, Thousands of meteors were reported over the Phoenix skies last night. While scientists continue to look for an explanation, they confirm that no other cities experience this strange phenomenon, and it is unrelated to the atmospheric disturbances noted the night before. As for today's weather, temperatures are climbing in the lower deserts, while the upper mountains will remain cool, with very possible strong winds below the canyon. Our weekday average temperatures will be in the 80s, possible 90s by the weekend. Sorry. Why? What happened? Well, the SMA on the 3 a.m. shift found it like this. The body was over there. The body? Yes, an orderly. He'd been dead a couple of hours. Well, a friend of mine was a patient in this room earlier today. Well, then I guess he's the lucky one. Well, he worked with us for around five years. Your people came this morning and took the body out at 6 a.m. It wasn't our people. We're Phoenix PD. Coroner's office took the body. Yeah, we just want to know what happened to him, okay? There'll be an autopsy at 4 today. Excuse me, folks. Pardon me. Excuse me. Okay, partner. 30 years on the force. Always telling me you've seen everything there is to see. You ever see anything like this? Mm -hmm. Shit. Somebody got a good smoke in. All right, anybody have any thoughts on exactly what happened here? We're trying to get some people from the physics department over here to take a look. Physics? Yeah. Well, it looks like the greatest concentration of heat was here, and the body positioning was here. So, the guy must have been about 10 or 12 feet away from it when it hit. It? It. Whatever it was. Get in the shower.
saying is it is not like Bo. The way he's been eating pigs, like he can't get enough. It's almost like he's tasting some of this stuff for the first time. And sexually, he's different, more aggressive. Okay, well, that's a little more information than I needed. He's been acting strange ever since he had the flu. Maybe it's still in his system. Maybe it did something weird to him. Cassie, lots of people get the flu. Then what is it, Pitt? I'm not making this up. Something is going on with Bo. Well, why don't I talk with him? It's nothing. It's nothing. Hey. Hey, what's up, Andy? <sighs> Just going to the library. You know, I'm scared to death of these SATs. It's like, I can't believe that our whole future hinges on this one stupid test. I know, my dad like thinks I'm totally blowing it off. Yeah, well, my mom, she's decided to study with me. She thinks it's gonna help us bond. I just wish mine would give me some credit. I mean, I do have some kind of brain in my head, you know? <coughs> Check out Partridge. <coughs> there you go. You'll be all right. Just fill out the first three lines and have a seat. We'll be with you in a minute. Hey, Pumpkin, what seems to be the matter, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what happened. You know, she went in the backyard and she said a rock bit her. Oh, a rock bit you. Oh, you gotta watch out for those. They do that sometimes. And mm -hmm. then, yeah, and then she started feeling sick. on something, then she got dizzy, and then this. I'll be there. Well, it's not like any bullet wound I've ever seen. And there's no blood anywhere. Whatever did this was so damn hot it cauterized the sight instant. And then, of course, there's the weirdness with the uh, tooth. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Doctor. What do you think caused this? Well, I got my theories, but you're not going to like them. Come on. Acute radiation poison. <coughs> I told you you wouldn't like Look, the way I see it here, it's as if somebody dropped a pellet full of fresh plutonium in this poor bastard's hand. Of course, that's absurd, isn't it? <coughs> Mike, you okay? You don't look very well. Why don't you, uh... Just take off early and go home. Hey, 
Hey. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Okay, well, I'm keeping the theme of the day, namely irresponsibility. I um, spared no expense. I got some steaks, some wine, some salad. We're going out. I uh, had a change of mind. I just spent $60 at the grocery store. Well, I'll take you out and adjust the place, and I won't take no for an answer. What did you do? Bo, this is my CD player. Just a little inventing today. Guess I better not give up the day job, huh? Good evening, Miss Winslow. How are you? Hi, Mr. Partridge. You know, dear, it's getting late. Maybe we should be on our way. What was that all about? What? That's Mr. Partridge, the vice principal of my school. Yes, I know. He speaks very highly of you. You know him? Stay there. 
doing nothing it's just my parents are just acting kind of weird so you're spying Andy no I mean they're inside with Mr. Partridge go ahead tell her Andy come on tell me what's going on <sighs> okay last week my mom's on this kick right to be my best friend and now she won't even talk to me it's like she doesn't even know that I'm there. I mean, I don't get it. What is she doing in there with Partridge and all those people? Okay, listen, you two take off before anybody else sees you. John, make sure she gets home okay. Yeah, sure. Andy, don't worry. I'll find out what I can, okay? We're going home. Go on. Come on. You remember that patient yesterday? Which patient, Mr. Henderson? We've got a lot of patients in this hospital. All right. The deceased female, mid-40s, the wild woman. She died right in front of us and operating. Yes, I you remember. You remember her? Yes. I don't think I got a chance to thank you for pulling me out of the way. Save me a few stitches. You're welcome. I just got her blood report back from phlebotomy. And? Nothing. 
Blood levels are right down the middle. No foreign agents, no hallucinogens. Uh -huh. The only thing out of the ordinary is a slightly elevated Five, enzyme one. count, and her blood type's RH negative. That's it. He was RH negative with the same overt behavior. Do you think it could have anything to do with that flu that's been going around? I mean, I know epidemiology hasn't been able to isolate its origins yet, but... How do you know that? Well, I've been checking in with them. You know that friend I told you about? Yes. Well, he had the same thing. Look, Dr. Moran, 50-some-odd cases of flu don't qualify as an epidemic. Well, that's 50 patients at this facility alone. As administrator here, I would think that you would want to check that out. So? It's a nasty flu. Yeah, except that there's no flu virus present in any of the patient's blood. I've had two patients die on me in the last 48 hours, both from no discernible cause, both from Rh-negative blood type. What does that have to do with the flu? I don't know if it has anything to do with it. But right now, it is the only factor that these two patients shared. Philip, all I'm suggesting is that you check with other health facilities. For what? Some 24-hour thing without any lingering after effects? You're home. How was your day? Bo, we need to talk. About what? I saw Mr. Partridge today with these people. And they were making... What were they making? All of them were making these things, and it was just like the one that you gave to Mr. Partridge last night. And they had these little... little black stones. Stones? You know what I'm talking about. Why aren't you telling me what's going on? You have to trust me, Cass. You do trust me, don't you? Listen, you gotta get over here. You gotta see this. Hurry.
Pitt, it's Cassie. Pick up the phone. Pitt, pick up the phone. much simpler if you just let it happen. Let what happen, Bo? Something is wrong with you. Why don't you let me help you? I don't need any help. Don't fight it. You've seen these last few days. You've felt what I'm like. It's wonderful, Cass. Oh, God, Bo, no, don't please. Fight it. No. Don't fight it. No. Cass, no. Don't fight oh. me. Cassie. Pit. Hey, are you all right? Yeah. Now, would you like to tell me what's going on here? This doesn't concern you. Bo, come on. It's three o'clock in the morning. Now, what is this? I still love you, Cassie. And that will never change. And I'll be back. men in the world. So, just because your ass is in this office doesn't necessarily mean you've got the job. Anyone who's going to be my personal assistant had damn well have better studied me and my personal philosophies. I give you 30 seconds to impress me. Go. Okay, uh, you are a very powerful man, very obviously true. with a great deal of financial resource. Absolutely. Some would say that with your connections, you could theoretically rule the world. True. Now, anything to drink, a Pellegrino, orange juice, anything. No, thank you. Sit, 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 sit. Why don't we just cut through the crap? Huh? I like power. I like money. The only reason I have this foundation is to get me some good press, and I'd like my executive director to know that up front. Does any of this uh, disturb you? No. Actually, I, I find it very refreshing. Really? Do you know what you are to me? What you and you nonprofit do-gooders are? Nothing. You're pawns in this little game that I'm playing. I like games. I don't think you'll like this one, though. You see, I write the rules. I deal out the hands. I decide who wins. In case I don't see you again. Oh, I think you will. Catch. So what is this? It's your future, Mr. North. I'll be at the Roosevelt Hotel. You call me later. Talk to me. Well, the kid says Dad picked him up from baseball practice. All of a sudden, he went crazy, started screaming, hit the kid, jumped out of the car, and just ran into the building. Is the guy armed? We don't know that. Where's your partner? He's inside. Where's your backup? They're on the way. How you doing, pal? OK. You'll be OK, son.
mine. Okay. You're right. You're saying that your fiancé was the first, or at least the first you know of, to get this flu? Yes. And he tried to infect me, too, with some sort of black stone. I think the virus is in the black stones. Uh, let's not jump to conclusions too fast, okay? So where is he now? I don't know. We got a flame out. Just went flatlined on us on the way here. Hey, just wait over there. <laughs> so what happened? You tell me. This guy just goes ballistic. He's got, like, superhuman strength. He's just throwing me around like I'm a feather. He hits him with three hollow points in the back, and the guy still doesn't fall. All right. Yeah, I'm fine. <coughs> hey, listen, can we get out of here, please? I'm starting to feel like crap. Yeah. <coughs> Same as the others. OK, before we do anything else, I want him typed. See if he's RH negative. But he's already dead. That's against procedure, Doctor. I need to know whether he's RH negative or not. Can you take care of that for me? I just think you should wait for approval before Have you do anything. Have this body removed to the morgue to await the coroner. No problem. Philip, you just can't ignore this anymore. I doubt that there's anything truly serious here, Dr. Moran. In a few days' time, I'm sure that you'll see it will all blow over. Give me the CDC rep in Phoenix. God, I wish I knew where Bob was at right now. What he was doing, Pitt. There's got to be something we can do to help him. Hey, why don't you crash at my place tonight? I'll be there as soon as I finish my shift. <coughs> Thanks, oh, Cassie, just keep the door locked, all right? I'm sorry, Mr. North has been ill today. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much for your concern. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear you come in. Can I help you with something? I have a meeting with Mr. North. I'm sorry, it's very late and Mr. North has been ill today. He's canceled all of his meetings. I think you want to see me. I think you're mistaken. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I'm calling security. Bo, my boy. I'm sorry, Mr. North. Relax, Jeff. Janet. Bo is always welcome here. Come on in. But Mr. North. Relax, Janet. <laughs> I've been thinking about what Dr. Moran said about the RH negative patients. Perhaps some comprehensive tests are in order. And so I've. Uh... That's good. But why isn't the coroner doing the autopsy? Because I thought I'd handle it personally. Okay in here? Yeah, yeah. everything's fine. No, she's fine everything. How well? One, two, right? Two.
Yeah, man, what's around? John, I didn't know where else to go. Can I come yeah, in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? Did you get in a fight? No, it's just my parents. They're like, I mean, one minute they're like. Oh, calm down, calm down. Just tell me what happened. John, what is going on here? Oh, Mom, she's in trouble. Well, what kind of trouble? I woke up, and my parents are standing over my bed. And they had this thing, this rock or something, and they're trying to make me hold it. And then my daddy just grabs me. I'm so scared. It's okay, Andy. It's okay, sweetheart. You can stay here tonight. Force base before. <laughs> In the schematics? Perfect. Just North. Welcome ah. to Phoenix. Colonel, pleasure. Thanks for meeting us on such short notice. No problem. Thank you. I'd like to introduce to you Bo Stark. Why don't I show you around? Sergeant, get down to the field. Yes, sir. Dr. Moran? Yes. I'm Walter Kirkland, the Phoenix representative for the CDC. I'm glad that you could make it on such short notice. Part of the job. Uh, care to show me what you have? Oh, yes, right this way. It's right through here. In my 20 years, I haven't seen anything quite like this. Uh, Dr. Moran, um, can I talk with you a second? No, I'm sorry, Pat. I can't talk right now. We have a meeting to Okay, today. please, please. It's important. Excuse me, Dr. Kirkland. I'll be yeah, right back. Certainly. This better be good. He's with the CDC. Okay. You can't trust Hayden. Remember that power outage last night? Yes. Well, I was walking past the morgue, and I saw Hayden in there autopsying that body. Hayden? Yeah, it's that RH negative thing. Whatever it is, it's throwing them, too. Is everything all right? Uh, yes, Dr. Kirkland. I'll be with you in just a minute. Okay. But the crazy thing is, is that when I tried to go in there, he actually tried to... Let's just keep this quiet for now, all right? Don't you want to know what else is going on? Oh, of course I do. But right now, I think they should be investigating the flu, and then later we'll deal with the little black stones. <sighs> okay, I'm going to find out what I can. I'll give you a call later. All right. All right. Go. She fell victim to the whole Defense Department downsizing in the last couple of years. We just don't have any big enemies to fight anymore. We'll keep investigating. Blood type shouldn't matter. I don't want any loose ends, and I don't want to have to wait for an answer. What exactly are you interested in the base for, Mr. North? Those hangars. You want to see them? I thought we would look at the base headquarters. The hangars. We'll be fine. Colonel. Sergeant! Take us to the hangars. Yes, sir. As you can see, in all of these cases, the only noticeable aberration is the presence of some unusual but harmless excess enzymes in the subject's blood. And you say the patients all exhibited recognizable flu-like symptoms? Yes, they did. Mucus discharge, upper respiratory constriction, these bodies are definitely trying to throw something off. And less than 24 hours later, they're fine. In fact, better than fine. Once recovered, they exhibit a kind of euphoria with increased energy levels. Doctor, I'd like you to take a look at this. What about the patients with the RH negative blood factors? You think that their deaths are somehow related to this flu? Well, it's all anecdotal observation, but in every case, the subjects did test out with the same increased enzymes in their blood. And since then, we've had several more unexplained deaths, RH negative deaths. You haven't had any other reports like this? No. In fact, I've never seen anything like this. Dr. Moran, I would like to know exactly what you You must be from the CDC. I'm Dr. Philip Hayden. Chief Administrator of the hospital. Uh, Walter Kirkland. Well, don't let me interrupt. I just wanted to make sure you had absolutely everything that you needed. I see that you're in good hands. Don't worry, Philip. We'll make sure that he knows everything. 
As you can understand, the government is expected to sell this property to some sort of developer or manufacturing firm. Personally, I think a golf resort's the way to go. You agree, Sergeant? Yes, sir. I guess I'm a little confused as to who's in charge here. We need to take possession immediately. How do we make that happen? You can't. This is a form of defense installation. There are permits and clearances. I'm afraid we don't have time for that, Colonel. Thank you. Oh. Sergeant, your sidearm. Stay with the Colonel until he changes his mind. Yes, sir. Shell, are you ready? Yeah. What do you got there? No idea. Captain told me to hold on to him, so I'm holding on to him. Little rocks? Yeah. He wants them so bad he can keep them. Damn things cut me ten times. They cut you? Yeah, ten times. Uh, <laughs> well, you got that floor that's going around here. Doesn't feel like any food, my friend. Shell, are you all right or what? Yeah. I'm driving a little weird, though. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Shut up, let me take it. Oh, Keep your foot off the gas. They're about a half an inch in diameter. Mom, I know it sounds crazy, but you've got to trust me. Now, I want you to go over, get Uncle Dave, go to... go to Grandma's house and stay there. No, I I'm going to stay in Phoenix. I have to find Bo, Mom. Hey, you sure you're not overreacting a little here? I mean, this is a pretty way out of line. A flu that changes people. Come on, Cass. That's Mr. Sanchez. He's one of my regulars. Good night, Mr. Sanchez. Cass, I think you're blowing this way out of proportion. Detective Kemper. Yep. I'm sorry, but your friend didn't make it. Would you like us to notify his family? No, I'll do it. What the hell happened to him? Well, we don't know for sure. We know that he had the same unnatural enzyme in his blood as the man that you brought in last night. Unnatural enzyme? Is that what killed him? We don't know yet. Yeah, but we do know that other guy's blood type was RH negative, and your friend's wasn't. Well, RH negative? Why is that so important all of a sudden? I'm RH negative. Well, we don't know if it means something right now. We just don't know. You don't yeah. know? You know, it's got to be those enzymes that are in those black stones. The only consistent factor. Wait. You know about the stones? Kinsella told me that he had a, had a slew of these stones in a box. He said that they... He said that they stuck him like a dozen times. Yeah, and he had more of the enzyme in his blood than any of the others. Maybe he overdosed on them somehow, you think? Your friend who had these stones, where are they now? At the precinct. Can we get a hold of one of them? Yeah, but how safe is it? That's good, sir. 
Be careful. By Saturday, then we deal with somebody else. Okay? So that's what's the important thing. Hey, Frank, how's it going? Oh, fine, Captain, thanks. against my skin and, and it, it opened up and then this this needle thing came out of it and I don't know what it is but it's certainly not a rock. We'll do a comprehensive on this right away. Meantime, what the hell are we gonna do with this? It's not what are we gonna do with it. The question is what's it planning to do to us? Schedule. Construction will be ready in 10 days. Four days. The gateway will open in four days. Fine. Put more of them if you have to. Four days. Fine. Bo, what's going to happen then? Then the new world begins. Cassie Winslow. Have you located her? No. We have people looking at your old house, looking at the school. I don't need the excuses, really. What I need is for you to find her for me. Hmm. Well, I'll find her. Well, I called Andy like three times today and she didn't pick up the phone. Really? John. What are you doing here? I need to speak to your mother, but... I've got to know if she's all right. What do you mean, all right? Is she all right, John? John, don't forget to bring the... Listen, it's happening all through Phoenix. More and more people are being infected. It's not just the flu. It's bigger than that. It's more than that. Mrs. Ochoa, because of what you do, your lab work, and your husband, a physicist, I thought that maybe you could help us out. I just don't know what we could do. As far as I can tell, it's still just theory. Come on, Mom, you know exactly what she's talking about. I mean, it's just like what I said about Andy's parents. I mean, we should do what we can. How could we help? I'm working with a group of people. We're trying to figure out exactly what this phenomenon is. You and your husband meet with us, and I promise you afterwards you won't have any doubts. 
These are the surveillance photos that you requested. Hello? I'm sorry, but this is ridiculous. You think there's some kind of virus out there that makes people change? It induces a form of psychosis, yes. Eugene, you said yourself how strangely Doug Moffat's been yeah, acting, and Carolyn and Pete next door. Yeah, and what about Andy's parents? We analyzed a sample of the fluid that we found inside of the stones. And we found the exact same enzymes in every single one of the flu victim's blood. That's right. This isn't possible. This enzyme doesn't exist. I mean, it doesn't exist on this planet. Oh, come on, please. Let's at least stay within the realm of reality here. I don't know about this. I didn't believe it either, until I saw it with my own eyes. We've got to find a safe place to stay, you guys. Well, what about the hospital? We can go home, pick up some things, you know, to make do for a couple days. Right, we'll hold up in the lab, and we'll get as much data as we possibly can. We can't trust anyone in Phoenix. Not anymore. It's just somebody at the door. Probably E.T. making a house call. Pete, what can I do for you? Judy and I were going to play a little bridge. Thought we'd see if you and Nancy wanted to join us. Uh, maybe some other night. Uh, tonight's not so good for us. Oh, you have company over? No, oh, no, just us, you know, but... Uh... Oh, um, maybe we could have a quick drink. No, Pete. Uh, how about I call you tomorrow and we'll do it tomorrow night, okay? But thanks. I was beginning to think you didn't want to see me. What do you want, Bo? I came back for you. Didn't you miss me? You and I belong together, you know that, don't you? Come on, Cass. I want you to be a part of this. Part of what, Bo? I don't understand what's happening. It's a whole new era. Evolution. The old making way for the new. Don't you see? I'm the one who's gonna make it happen. I'm the key. All I see is a sick man. This isn't the man that I fell in love with. No, he was weak. I'm strong. I can give you the world. I can give you many worlds. I don't want the world. I want Bo back. You can't stop it, Cassie. No one can. It's not even denting the thing. I've never seen anything like it. You see? I told you it was alien. You guys should go ahead and pack up. We're running out of time. Donna, Donna, no. Donna, you're gonna have to pull some strings. I need three seats on a flight to Atlanta tonight. So what are you saying? That it's been there all along? That's exactly what I'm saying. The virus is already in our DNA. Normally, doctors and lab workers just ignore it because it's just always been there. So the enzyme in those little rocks is the catalyst. Right. Then this virus is inside all of us. Yeah. But now we know what it's doing. It's been waiting. Hey, Cass, where were you? We've been waiting for you. Pitt? I saw him. I saw Bo. When, just now? At the apartment, Pitt. He's changing, physically changing his eyes, his hands. He's mutating into something else. 
We're at the hospital. We have confirmed they're on the third floor. Okay. Just waiting to get the room. Still waiting to get back from the place. You're on the red eye to Atlanta, but it leaves in 35 minutes. We'll be making our case to the CDC by morning. Let's get moving. Let's get, get, get these files. We've got a hurry. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. There's no way we can make it out running like a pack. All right, I'll, I'll get these guys to the airport and I'll meet you with you later. Okay, we'll take the back stairs. Now, do you know that diner down in University? Yes. All right, we'll meet you there later then. We can't leave them here. Don't worry, Mom. We're going to be okay. You've got to go. Everybody's right. depending on you. Have to go. Let's go now. Be careful, all right? We don't know how far this thing goes. Thanks. Wish us luck. We're gonna need a lot more than luck. They're gonna let us know about it, all right? It's gonna be okay. You know what? You guys are all nuts. The whole lot of you. Denise! Cops, cops get down, get down! They're on their way to Atlanta. The rest are here with me. Excellent. You're right. They're on their way to Atlanta. You know what to do. has begun. Although reports are scattered, the meteor shower has been seen as far away as Los Angeles and Las Vegas. We will keep you updated as well.
Please. Hey, with all that's gone down lately, I thought you might be hungry. You're a lifesaver. Can I give you a hand? No, I'm almost done. Okay. Another five minutes, you would have missed me. It's been so dead around here. It's been dead all over. You want some coffee? Oh, God, no, not you, please. No! so far is way beneath the sophistication level that we need. Well, if we don't have it, then fabricate it. If I have to do it all myself, what good are you to me? I'll find the equipment. The gateway must be operational in three days. Fine. Three days. Just received a message from Atlanta. They've arrived. Good. Find out what they know, and then bring them to me. I could use some workers with some initiative. You see, the composition of these devices isn't something our current science can even duplicate. Please take a look. And they carry enzymes that awaken a virus in our DNA. A virus of extraterrestrial nature. I, I know how it sounds, but if you look at these reports, it's all documented. This is still very sketchy. However, it's compelling enough to warrant a trip to Phoenix. Just see just what they're talking about. You folks have done some very impressive work. No, they don't have an appointment, but I'm sure they're there. Now, please, it's extremely urgent that I talk with them. I'm sorry, sir, but there's nobody here by those names. But if you give me your name and phone number, I'll see if I can... I think they're already in trouble. Let's get out of here. Have you actually observed the coupled reaction of the enzyme in progress? Any electron micrographs of the virus itself, away from the host cell. And how many others are you told about this? We came straight to this. That's correct. Given the situation in Phoenix, uh, we decided to come directly here, hoping that you might have gotten reports like this from other places. Of course. We've made copies of all of our work. We need to leave right now. You should probably tell us where these copies are. We'd best keep this under wraps. Uh, we don't have them anymore. Uh, that's right. We sent copies of our work to other labs for testing. Dr. Moran, nice to see you again. Dr. Kirkland, I'm surprised to see you here. Sure you are. Excuse us. part about sending the reports to the other labs? Who knows? The worst part is that they know that we know. We need to warn the others. Look, there's a phone over there. Great. Contact here, we can't let them leave. We got company. 
I've got visual contact right now. They're heading out of the park. Move! No, don't bother. They'll come back to Phoenix. They want to regroup with whoever it is they're working with, and we'll solve the problem then. Yes. Good morning. For those of you who aren't aware, my name is Randy North, and I sell software. <laughs> the reason I brought you here this morning is because I am about to embark on a bold new venture. It will be called the Institute for New Humankind. Guard, maintain security at the perimeter. Guard, maintain security at the perimeter. To describe this to you in full, I introduce to you a young man. Tremendous vision. Ladies and gentlemen, Bo Stark. Thank you. The Institute for New Humankind is made up of people just like you and me. People committed to ushering in a new age, new leadership. Business, Nobel Prize winners, construction workers, housewives. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome the homeless. In the future, none of that will matter. In the future, each human being is as valuable as the next. Our doors are open. And look around. See for yourselves. It pays to have a cop around. You see some more of their hidden talents. Got it.
several other world leaders have also had to cancel their attendance at the conference for similar reasons. What was seemingly about to become the pinnacle of the president's foreign policy agenda is quickly turning into the administration's greatest embarrassment. Scientists from several international disease centers believe that the recent global outbreaks of influenza are not a cause for alarm. Their preliminary investigation... See the CDC, world the leaders, are not related just like a parasite attacking a host. It's going after the defense and the control centers first. Hours. Scientists maintain that the virus's presence in Do it smart. countries is simply an odd and puzzling coincidence. Hello. Dr. Moran, what happened? We were wondering what happened to you. John, listen. Things didn't exactly go as we... John? It's Mom. No, no, I'm fine. It's Dad. John? This is Kemper. John, what happened? It's my dad. I'm sorry. Well, that means that they're gonna know we're at this house. We're gonna have to hightail it out of here before we get company. I've got, um, I've got a cabin up in the mountains. Now, we might be safe there. We're out of here in 20 minutes. All right. Yes, I'll, I'll get these three up there, and then I'll, I'll be back to pick you up. I want to kill them. I want to kill all of them. Cops, let's go. Oh, we're cut off here, too. All right, we gotta get out of here. Come on, we gotta get out. No, no, let them come in here, John. Kid, kid, we don't have time for this. Come on, John, we have to get out of here. Won't do any good for you to act they this way. They killed my father. Yeah, but they're gonna kill us, too. Come on. This way. Space Telescope, the most sophisticated on the planet. I see. Have it disassembled and integrate the parts into the gateway immediately. Are there any more? Yes. I bought the factory. Pieces are being airlifted from Prague, Belfast, and Munich. What about London? No, the riots have been put down. Beijing, too. Both cities are at 70%. Still, post a century. I think we'll be vulnerable for the next 24 hours. Fine. Aliens don't get us the dust, Will. Pits. I'm serious. They're everywhere. What sort of chance do we have anyways? Hey, John! I know, I understand. I just, I just don't want us to be separated. Give me a hand. We had a problem. We've been receiving reports about abnormal reaction to the virus. It only occurs to people who are Rh negative. And what causes it? It's just that we don't know. Will you find out? I can't afford a problem right now.
All right, then. What exactly do you suggest we do? I don't know, but every hour we stay hidden up here doing nothing, the more difficult things are gonna get. Cassie's right. There's gotta be something we can do. Maybe there's some way we can warn people. What good is warning them if there's no way to stop no, this? No, what do you have in mind? Well, we could use the internet. What good would that do? Well, we could send out a message to anybody that's looking. But is it safe? I know how to do it. I mean, there's gotta be somebody out there with more information than we have. You don't really think there's someone out there who's found a way to stop this thing, do you, John? It's worth a shot. I wouldn't count on it. Yeah, and if they haven't, we're screwed. Not if we do it ourselves. It's a virus. We need an antibody. Sheila, you know that's not possible. Well, perhaps, but it sure as hell beats sitting around here feeling helpless. Okay, we'll need to do a lab here. We'll make it sterilized. Do we have anything? I've got uh, rubbing alcohol and some supplies in the back. That'll do. Uh, about, about some equipment, too. We're going to need computer programs for analyzing the data. Good. Well, make a list. I'll go down to the med center and pick it up. Don't you think one of us should go with him? I'll go with him. No, I'll move quicker on my own. But remember, the longer we wait, the harder it's going to be. So let's make the list. ready. All we need is some equipment. John's working at the computer. We sent out a bulletin, but no word yet. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Almost makes you forget what's happening. Some replies. Are you serious? Yeah. Like you got a problem. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I, it's under control. I... How about we give him a hand, Mike? 
Well, if you don't have anything better to do. He's late. He'll be here. We might have to consider some other options. What do you mean? Cars here! Well, that's our last trip in the city. Almost everyone's changed. Did you get everything? Well, enough to get started. What took you so long? Oh, I had a flat tire. He said he had a flat tire. Flat tires happen. I'd say it'll be more careful, huh? Let me take it. Sent all the serum samples we have to our labs in Zurich and Rome. And we can't find a factor in the RH negative blood that'll explain the violence and the deaths. What does it matter anyway? In a matter of hours, we'll all be gone. We are at our most vulnerable right now. Just because we can't decipher the RH factor doesn't mean anyone else can. I've only conducted experiments on deceased subjects. Now, this group all has RH negative blood, and they haven't been infected yet. Now, with your permission, I can begin experimentation immediately. Find another way. Okay, so then you change these last three letters in the URL. Okay. Right. Dot GOV, then backslash 606, capital R, now small g, backslash. Okay. I've got it. Now just hit enter. And that's it. We're into our mailbox without anybody being able to trace us. See, now we can communicate with others like us through these codes. Mm -hmm. Okay, now type in LMC All right. backslash. Okay. Dr. Moran, we got another one. Center for Virology, University of Bergen, Norway. Yeah, it looks like they've got a lab hidden in the basement of the girls' gymnasium. What about that, that guy, that Doc M? Have we got anything from him? Doc M? Who's Doc M? He's a doctor here in Arizona. We don't know exactly where. But he keeps sending some very solid data. Yeah, here's his latest. Well, you know, if his data's so good, why don't we try to find out where he is? Maybe we can hook up with him. You like that, wouldn't you? What? Maybe that's why you came back. To set us up for an ambush. What are you talking about? I'm talking about it. What took you so long? I told you, I had a flat tire. You expect us to be stupid enough to believe that? Hey, don't you think you're overreacting just a little bit? Well, maybe you should have just shot me as I came up the drive, huh? Stop this macho crap, both of you. No, no, he's right. We can't be too careful. We've all seen what can happen. What do you expect us to do? Let's just make sure. Make sure he's not one of them. You guys are way off base. Yeah. How about we test you? If I was one of them, why didn't I just bring a bunch of my infected buddies and raid the place? Look, Pitt, at least this way there's no doubt. There's just six of us left. 
If we can't trust each other, then we're dead. I'm sorry, Pitt. Well, if you're expecting me to grow spikes out of my head or uh, spit acid, it ain't gonna happen. Yeah, I'm getting sick of your mouth! Hey, stop it! Get off of him! What the hell's gotten into you, man? Hey, I don't need any kid Tell me what to do. You wanna be next? Kemper. He's clean. How can you be sure? It might be a trick. You don't know what they are capable of. Get the keys for the handcuffs quick. What's the matter with him? He's RH negative. How did he get infected? Give me the key, Kemper. No. He's one of them, can If we're not careful, we're all gonna be one of them. We will help you. Just please give me the key. People can't win. We won't let you win. Give me the key, Kemper. No! No choice. He would have killed Nancy. You know, normally I'm the one who's saving lives. That's exactly what we're doing. What we have to keep doing. You know, at some point you have to face the facts. There's no way to stop this thing. We're not even safe way the hell up here. You know, we've all lost a lot. Husbands, fathers, people we love. Kemper even lost his life. The one thing that we can't afford to lose right now is hope. I'm afraid hope is in very short supply these days. But that's all we have. We found it among all the equipment. Must have been the cops who pulled me over. Yeah. That's why they let me go off so easily. Look. I got it right here. There's a little town called Marston, population 402. All right, it's isolated enough, too. People there might not even be infected yet. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to replace all this equipment. Well, I could go into Marston with you, Pitt, and help you check the local doctor's office. OK. I'll go, too. I know what we need. John, you and Sheila stay close to the computer. Your only chance to find help. everybody they've probably all been infected yeah they've been gathering together so they're probably all in the city by now let's just find a doctor's office get what we need and get the hell out of here yeah this is soft jazz on your fm dial on a cool clear 
Arizona evening. Here's a doctor's. We need gas, so we're not gonna make it back. So I gotta go find some. Can you guys take care of this hero? Cassie and I will get everything. Yeah, we'll right. be careful, Pitt. Check the other rooms for supplies. Hurry, this place gives me the creeps. You got it.
hasn't been infected as you requested. But the other woman we captured is a virology specialist. Evidently, they've been trading data, trying to find an antibody. And have they? We don't know yet. But, Bo, we have to know what that one knows. I understand. No, if she's infected. Just... I understand. that you can't stand to look at me, Cass. Especially since all I've wanted to do for the last few days is to see you. You have no idea how much you've been on my mind. You are not Bo. Yes, I am. I'm still Bo. I'll always be Bo, but now I'm something more. And soon everyone will be. You, Pitt, everybody. I'm just the first. It's going to be wonderful, Cass. Come. There's something I want to show you. <laughs> Got it all? Yeah, this is the last of the blood and the tissue samples. I'm not going. What are you talking about? I said I'm not going. They're going to be swarming all over here in a matter of seconds. What if Mom and Cassie escape and they come back here and we're not here? Come on, they know it would be too dangerous for us to stay here. John, we're going to do absolutely everything that we can to get in touch with them, but we have to go now, all of us. You think he's really going to show up? He said he would. I mean, he seems as freaked out about meeting us as we are about meeting him. We're putting our lives in the hands of a guy called Doc M. this it's a gateway Cass don't you see I was the one chosen to open it a gateway to a thousand other worlds I'm the key It's a gateway to a thousand other worlds, and I am the key. Are you sure this is it? Yeah, these are the directions he gave me. This must be it. Gotta be the place. It's exactly like you described it. Real inviting. Well, there's no cover whatsoever, so if they want to jump us, they picked a good spot. We don't have a choice. Let's go. Check it over there.
Do you see anything over there? I can't see anything. It's too dark. Well, they could use a maid. What's that smell? This can't be the place. Maybe he's watching us, you know, making sure we are who we say we are. It doesn't make any difference. I mean, look at this place. We're not going to find a lab here. What was that? What? I thought I heard something. I don't think we're alone. Don't move! Don't even twitch. What you must know is that this thing you call a virus, Cassie, has been on Earth a very long time. Far longer than man. Life was just beginning to appear in the oceans when our century ships came in. And after that, every few million years or so, a probe ship returned to see if anything interesting had evolved. It's just that what they found was always unacceptable. At one time, this planet was covered with dinosaurs. We found they had disproportionately small brains and no tool use capabilities whatsoever. Totally useless, so, well, we altered their DNA to ensure extinction. And if humans were to be found unacceptable? Oh, no. It's very different. With humans. Humans possess emotion. Human desire overwhelms. I cannot stop thinking about you. When we walk through the workers out there, I, I wanted them to see you with me, walking, walking beside me. I, I, I wanted them to see it. I was surprised to feel that. I still love you, Cassie. As much as I ever did. Does that make any sense to you? Yeah. It does. Dr. M. We want to work with him. Shut up! Now back up! Back up! Look right at me! Do it! It's our eyes. You're, you're looking at our eyes to see if they shine. Okay. I had to be sure. You trust your neighbors these days, you end up a walking virus for them. I'm McCoy, Dr. Holland McCoy. I'm Dr. Sheila Moran. This is Pitt and this is John. Look, we better get moving. There's no telling who's close by. Are you kidding? There's nothing around here for miles. That's what they thought. Who are they? The rest of my team. They got ambushed when they came for supplies, fried them where they stood. Uh. 
That stuff you sent me over the internet was pretty high tech. Since the last post, I've also managed to code the energy activation level of the enzymes. I've managed to slow the virus down. It's a highly specific antibody. But you're talking about working at a molecular level. You don't have the equipment to do that. Just hold on. Come on, we gotta get out of here now. There's a chopper flying around out there. Come on. that you will be comfortable here, Cass. First echoes from the approaching ships. They're much closer than we originally anticipated. How close? They'll be here tonight. I worked with Ari's negative blood samples, and they developed an antibody very quickly. It's it's non-specific, but I'm very close, which means we can find the exact one I need. Slow down. Pull over near that clearing over there. Good, good. All right. Let's go. Grab a hold of this and throw it over the truck.
let's go. What is this place? The Washburn Craft military facility. Their specialty was germicidal warfare. Top secret stuff. Just like those corpses they had at Roswell. Great. Of all the people in the world to hook us up with, who does he hook us up with? An alien conspiracy nut. It is an alien conspiracy. Come on, you don't want to breathe the enemy's tunnels too long. How come? You never know what's breathing down here. Let's go! This is astounding. We should get to work. There's not much time. This is a virtual reality microscope. I thought these things were still stuck at the drawing board stage. This is a government facility, remember? When it comes to new chemical weapons, they spare no expense. What do you think? Can you get it working? Well, take a shot. The RH negative antibodies were just a start. Now we need to isolate the antibody which attacks the virus. Is this how much you managed to synthesize? It's not a lot I know. It takes time to culture. The problem is, in its current form, it, it doesn't kill the virus. It just slows it down. Could I see your rad sheets on its chemical makeup? Yeah, sure. Over here. Now, now this is the most current data I've compiled. I think you should take a close look at the components of this formula.
They're loaded to the front. Let's take a look at the stone. Careful. What do you see? Grab a headset. What happened? I don't know. What, I what'd you do? I didn't touch it. What? You must have done something. Told you about. You were working on an antibody. We came close to finding one too. They were trading information over the internet. The internet. 
Anything we can use this to our advantage. I want you to do me a favor. You will do me a favor, won't you? Of course. Watch what you're doing. I'm getting an incoming message. Oh my God, it's Cassie. Is she all right? She's accessed the mail drop. She's doing just like I taught her. Where is she? What is she saying? No. She's already in the first stages. She wants to know if we're all right, if we're still out here. No! Pitt, no. no. No, the only way that we can help her now is by finding the antibody. Come on, you said we were close. You said so yourself. No way. We're not bringing anyone who's infected in my lab. Pitt, if you tell her where we are and she changes before she gets here, then all of this is lost. And we can't risk that. Not even for Cassie. She received a reply to her message. What was it? It was encrypted, but we're working to break the code right we'll now. We'll work on nothing. Look, what does it matter anyway? In a matter of hours, all of this will have been changed. The gateway is what's important. I decide what is important here. I will open the gateway. I will be the first to transform, and who I have on my side at that day is no longer your concern. You break that code and tell me where she's gone and get him out of my sight. Get him out of here.
Here we go. Good. Message came from out in the desert. Found an antibody. Get me there. Cassie. You shouldn't have brought her here. Yeah, well, I didn't ask your advice, did I? Cassie? Cassie, we need your help. We'd like to draw some blood, okay? Sure, that's fine. We need a needle. Please. John. Your mom. There's nothing I can do. No, no, my mom's fine. I saw them infect her last night, John. I'm sorry. No, she just sent me a message. She, she called me JJ. You didn't reply. She's the only one that ever called me JJ. Tell us she didn't reply. She said she was okay. So that means they can trace us now. We gotta get out of here. We're not going anywhere. It's gonna take us days to replace this research. We don't have days. We only have until tonight. They built a gateway and it's some sort of opening that brings them directly to Earth. After that, an antibody is useless. For everyone. <coughs> Roger, there's no activity in Sector 4. Moving on to Sector 5. Of the originating virus, I know, I'm looking. The inside of this thing's like a Chinese puzzle. I'll see what I can do. Sheila. I think I found it. <coughs> Look at that. The stone is an incubator. It's housing them. This thing has some sort of intelligence. It's what? 
watching us. I've never seen anything like it. Search everywhere. We must locate them before they find an antibody. What's he doing? He's still with us, but his pulse is weak. <sighs> is this a present? <sighs> He's been affected all this time. sure that I could synthesize a working version of the antibody with this. How quickly? Less than an hour. Now we're not sure it's the suppressant that killed him. But we're not sure that it wasn't. So is it working? I'm not sure yet. But I think I'm onto something. <coughs> but even if it does work, how will you get it to everyone? I've got it. We can synthesize it as a gas. And once inhaled, it'll start working almost immediately. And then the host's body will start manufacturing on its own and throwing off the excess as they exhale. It'll spread through the entire population. It'll destroy the virus in a matter of days. <coughs> Curing people will be as easy as breathing. If it works.
What is it? The gateway. It's opening. We must return to the Institute. Come and take a look at this. I think we got a cure. Look. You see, his, his repressant, it was too concentrated, so I diluted it. <laughs> look, look, look. Yeah. You mean like you OD'd on this stuff? Yeah, you see, the suppressant, it was just one part of the antibody. Hey, did you hear? Pitt, all we know is that it works on a sample of my blood. What happens when it goes throughout the entire body? We won't know for sure until we test it, and we can test it now, on you. No, you can't. Bo said that they were gonna open the gateway tonight. If the antibody works, we have to use it now. We have to take it straight to the Institute before the gateway opens. Yeah, but if we test it on you now, then we'll know whether it works or not. Whoever goes has to have the virus alive inside of them. They somehow can sense when you're not one of them. I have to stay infected. I am the only one who can get to Bo. Well, there's no way that you're going back there. Cassie, you're getting sicker by the minute. We don't have a choice. Yes, we do. Pitt? No. <clears throat> now we both go. Change is almost complete, Pitt. We could break the canister here now if you want. We have to get to Bo. It's pointless if we don't stop the gateway. We're never gonna make it. If anything happens, smash the canisters and run like hell. Oh, great. That makes me feel a hell of a lot better. So far, so good. That's why we're here. We want to be part of this new world. I want to see the gateway. You know about the gateway? That's why we came. Yes. And we could be together again. Whatever's coming, I want to be there with you when it happens.
Lupo's out there. How'd you know? I just know. I guess it's what he said, we're all becoming one.
You're okay. Yeah. We did it. 